Unwanted hair removal is on the rise big time. Studies indicate that about 80% of women and a surprising 50% of men have unwanted hair that they would like to get rid of. Hair removal has been around for thousands of years and in each culture you'll find different socially acceptable amounts and areas of body hair. People wanting hair removal all want three things. First, to get rid of unwanted hair with less pain. Secondly, to remove the hair without spending an arm and a leg, pun intended. Thirdly and finally, diminish hair regrowth. Now there are several processes for hair removal and each comes with its advantages, side effects and associated costs as well. For decades, electrolysis and shaving has been the normal practice for removing hair with the downsides being very painful and time consuming. Recently, modern techniques such as laser hair removal have given the world a better way to remove unwanted hair. Here are the methods available for hair removal. For the temporary ones, we have tweezing, shaving, epilators, mechanical and electrical, chemical depilatories, dwelling amounts of hair, waxing and sugaring. They tend to reduce the hair growth with time and the permanent ones are electrolysis, which is hair electrology and laser hair removal. So depending on the specialist involved and the type of treatment you desire, the price tends to fluctuate. Here's a general cost guideline associated with the most popular types of hair removal. First of all, we've got shaving from $1 to $25 for razors and supplies. Using barbers or professional shaves are about $5 to $30. Then we have waxing, which is the most popular type of sugaring. It runs about $25 to $75 for a home use kit and about $20 to $200 for professional waxing in salons, depending on how much the body is to be done. Thirdly, we have laser, which generally runs several thousands of dollars after repeated treatments and also changes according to how much of the body is to be treated. Overview and further information on the various types of hair removal. Shaving is and may always be the quickest and most painless form of short term or temporary hair removal. Hair removal creams like Ultra Hair Removal, Emoji Hair Removal System and Tend Skin are available in stores and can be also ordered online. But make sure that you're careful when buying the products online and always remember to consult an expert to know which product is suitable for your skin type and also suitable for the location of hair removal. Epilators are good if you have delicate skin. They are compact in size and portable and easy to use. Put bluntly, an epilator pulls out the hair from the root like any other of the methods and has its advantages and disadvantages. Waxing, although temporary, is the other effective way of hair removal and can easily be done in the privacy of your own home. It does have many cautions though, so if you're not familiar with waxing, make sure to consult with a dermatologist first. For best results with waxing, let the hair grow out for two to three weeks. So for the general waxing tips and guidelines, first of all, wash the skin to remove only lotion and natural skin oils. Secondly, let the body dry completely. Thirdly, test over a small area first in order to ensure that your skin doesn't have any adverse effects. Do not overheat the wax or it may burn. In severe cases, pain reducing gels can also be used to avoid pain. And the wax should always be applied in the direction of hair growth. Pull the wax backwards from the direction of the hair growth rather than pulling upward or out. Wipe the skin with a moist towel to remove excess wax. Use a good sunscreen lotion to avoid exposure to direct sunlight after waxing. Laser hair removal is another way to get rid of unwanted hair permanently. These lasers basically destroy the pigment of the hair follicle and it prevents it from regrowth. So this can basically be used to remove hair from a smaller area of a person's upper lip, for example, to full body back hair for men. Blisters or reddening of the skin, dark spots and bumps on the skin can be expected after a laser removal treatment, but these will usually heal quickly with almost no cause of concern. The major downside to laser is the associated costs. Repeated visits will be needed for complete coverage. 
The first thing you need to get started is consult a laser hair removal salon in your area for further details. Also, for further information to hair removal, make sure you consult with a dermatologist in your area or stop and visit one of the most hair removal salons and I'm sure they'll be able to give you a lot of useful information concerning your a potential client.